What it do, what it do, what it do. It's your favorite. The one and only extra love coming through to see what's popping with you. What up, Aries? What up, my pet milks? How you doing today, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful family members? What up, though? Yeah, I see you've been had you've been having eventful days, right? It's never been a dull moment for you. You are the word, the adjective that I would use to describe my Aries family, my lovelies, you know what I'm saying? would be sensational. You're a sensation, my baby. For sure, for sure, for sure. So, you know, I was chilling and getting into the mood to come to you and bring you the messages that I heard just to confirm your confirmation. And I was prompted to give you a Bible verse. I know we have family members from different walks of life. And I just wanted to tell you as far as the Bible and the Quran and the Torah, the knowledge and wisdom are in these three books, right, my baby? It's only where your understanding is at that time is where um, your knowledge level, your level of knowledge is. As you ascend, you know that these books take on various different meanings um just like the way that you used to use um read the bible torah or the quran when you were little it's quite different from your understanding that you got now so the bible verse that i was prompted to give you because you only had like four cards pop out but this was the car. This is the world car. It was the first one, the garden. See, she's tending her garden, everything looking beautiful. Woo, woo, woo. So the Bible verse, which you know I only give you at apropos times, because, you know, I like you to see what's going on. And sometimes, you know, I'm prone to fly a little higher, so I'm able to give you what you need at the appropriate time. So the Bible verse is Isaiah 58, 11. And I just want to hold this card. So it read, The Most High will guide you always. The Most High will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched sun -scorched land um, and will strengthen your frame. You'll be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Ashe, 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 my baby. We're going to claim that divine message. Because I'm still marinating, says you be pet milk or says you be sensational. Because that's who you are, right, my baby? Beautiful card. Right? So... The message that I got for you, my family, my Aries, you know, if I was to ever have an Achilles heel, it would be an Aries, my pet milk. Um, two of my favorite sisters, my oldest sister and my baby sister, Lori and Ashley are, you know, shout out to y'all, <laughs> are Aries seeds. They pet milks too, right? So this will be the message to my whole family, right? The world card means you have success, successfully taken care of your business. <laughs> right, my baby? You've been on your thing. You know what I'm saying? All's right with the world. And so the world card means it's time to reap all the goodness that you have put forth in the world, right? And um, for you to count your blessings. And you know I don't like the word blessings because it means be less. And we could never be that, my baby. That's that's like a curse, that word into itself. So we say grace and high favor. So 
Make sure you're thankful, full of thanks, full of grace for your um, high favor, right? And the success that you have reached has happened over time. It has not been an over uh, overnight sensation, no. But the one thing that all people with Aries, especially, you know, highly aspected Aries, a lot of our family members have Aries energy highly aspected in their chart. What you've learned, my pet milks, is no matter what the odds are, you can be victorious. And if you walk out on faith and walk, walk with your cosmic and galactic family success is yours my baby right because i see a lot of our family members have been concerned about gossip and rumors right my baby so the divine realm told you slow up we got you my baby right we got you because that's the motto out here in this world. The lay of the land is called mind your motherfucking business. Mind your motherfucking business, right? So this world would be a better place if a motherfucker just mind their own business. You know, and I see you're, you witnessing this. <laughs> go on around you, right? Motherfuckers not minding their business but wondering why their life is fucked up and crumbling. Well, I'm here <laughs> for the answer, right? Because if a motherfucker took all that energy and invested the sh you know, the negativity that they're sent your way, their life would halfway be the motherfucking together, right? And I was also told that the ones that are gossiping and slandering you are the so-called Christians. And we say in the spiritual world, the uh, a.k.a. the B-lack B magicians hiding behind religion because the divine realm says people that gossip and slander look real, other, real, unmotherfucking familiar. They could not know the Most High. And the Most High, most assuredly, don't know who they are. And you can always tell because their shit looks raggedy, right? You've also been told to ban, drop, release, run with the quickness, get the fuck away from those who who try to ride your coattails to sap your energy, yet they judge you, right? Because that's what motherfuckers about to learn, right? There's only one judge, and that's God. And most people that judge don't have shit to even judge. They have nothing, you know what I'm saying? Their barns are empty. And that's why you're hating on my baby. Because that's the topic of these, for the, you know, for this week. It's called Just Cause, as in motherfuckers hate you because they ain't you, right? So I see the number one reason why someone would hate a beautiful soul like you is because you see. You see... The illusionist, because you're clearly a motherfucking magician, an alchemist, right, my pet milk? So you see all the bullshit. You see the mirages, right? <laughs> Not the mirage, because it's deeper than that. It's the mirages, right? You know, these illusions that are spent up. See, motherfuckers can't lie and they can't pump fake and all that when you're around. You know what I'm saying? That's why they don't like you. Because I see your solar plexus has been being worked on by the divine realm. That's your willpower. 
what gives you the um the drive the courage and tenacity to get out here and get it done and you for sure got that right my baby but your solar plexus is being worked on so you can have clarity and understanding right and I see that you're naturally happy. So before we get into it, I had a few little things for you. The numbers off of RIP would be 111, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 44, 99, right? And then I had... Two numbers that's going to be prevalent for you forevermore, right? 520 or really 5200. That means you have a sister out here that is tapped into their intuition, their highest self, the most high, that you know that you can rely on and that whatever that was spoken by this sister is going to come to pass or you're watching it be revealed. And so that number will either be 520 and 5200. Or that can be our number for ourselves, for our own personal synchronicity. You know, as far as revelations being revealed to you and them coming to pass. So 5200 or 520 is our number together forevermore. Another number that's going to be significant for you which I know you've been seeing, <laughs> is 102 or 120 or some combination of those numbers, right? Because that would be your confirmation that you are tapped into the most high, you're feeling yourself, you're out here interdependent on nothing but yourself. You're walking in your power. So 102 or some combination, 012, money row or whatever, how you do it. Because that's why they call it the money road. Because <laughs> you're following your path. Your steps are ordered. Just like small money would be 1, 2, 3. And big money in the lottery would be 7, 8, 9. Steps are ordered. And you're on your path. So you, you'll keep on seeing blessings and miracles. And that's the theory behind that. Because I see that it's been, you've been experiencing habitual line steppers. Right, my baby? Habitual line steppers that have been truly, truly, truly outrageous, my baby, for sure. But see, what these people fail to realize is that you have a rebellious side. And you love to express it. And you know I ain't lying. You love to express your rebellious side, right? But I see that, you know, you have ascended, you're in your ascended, and definitely at least in the seventh dimension. Right? And the message I have for you is you're living fat because only God can judge you. You're living fat because only God can judge you. So God moves the pieces around on the chessboard. That's understood. Someone was trying to play God and they're learning. <laughs> they're learning, my baby, right? So, um, I think that's it. I think that's it. So, let's get it. Yes, I see you've been having a rendezvous with your highest self, huh? A little triist. As in someone can trust that what's revealed to you will be only revealed to you. You won't reveal the revelation, right, my baby? Because, see, the next card after this world is the Emperor card. I keep feeling that. The Most High, your cosmic grandfather, right, is letting you know. <laughs> you know, keep your head up. It doesn't matter what the fuck is shaking. As long as you keep your eye on the prize, you'll always pop off. You'll always win. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Most High is the king of mind games. How about that? That's what I was to see. Somebody was trying to play mind get games with you. <clears throat> Not knowing that the Most High is the king <clears throat> of mind games. Right, my baby? For sure. Let me move this to the side so we have room. 
I see a lot of things have been unfolding for you, huh, my baby? A lot of things have been unfolding for you. You were told to abandon some things and transform, and a lot of things are um, unfolding for you, right, my baby? So let me get a few more cards. Because I, I keep hearing that you're legendary, right? You're legendary. You were a student or an initiate, right, my baby? And you were learning about life and love and just being in this realm. But whoo, baby. I said you didn't level up, my baby. Level up, level up, level up, right? <laughs> so now you a neophyte. You're a teacher, or you soon shall be. Because, you know, I guess you could say you're part of the in crowd, right? So I see you're learning about what the in crowd really is, right, my baby? <laughs> you're definitely learning about the in crowd as in inside of you, right, my baby? Because I keep hearing that song, and it's called Just the Two of Us. And if I'm not mistaken, it's by Bill Withers. Just the two of us. Just the two of us, you and I. <laughs> That's what the most high is thinking. You, right, my baby? Yes, I see you've been. You've been kissed by love from the divine, right, my baby? And I see you dancing and playing and frolicking and just been in a beautiful mood. And I see your home life is yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Beautiful. Comfortable in your own skin. It's just beautiful. Something about player energy. Right? Something about you are attracted to player energy. But now you know who the real players are. Right, my baby? And you know out here in the world, when you get no love like Faith Evans, You can always tap into the divine, sit still and meditate, marinate, and see what the most high have to say for you. Wow. Some of our family members were hurt because, or someone around you was hurt because they feel like they get no love. It's like a loss and grief. Or it could be you in the past. Yes, woo, my baby. You definitely went through a spiritual transformation where you don't have to feel like you out here alone by yourself. I see some of our family members were grieving about their parents, the loss of their parents. Let me just, because this is a reverse card. You know I never, ever tell anybody to tell you that. But this is another family member. This card is apropos. I see someone's parents were plucked from their life when they were early, when they were young, like two, two years old. They're, um, they were plucked from their parents. We'll put it to you like that. They were taken out of their parents' garden. And they're still reeling from that loss, right, my baby? But they were taken away from them, that feeling. They were taken away from that um, feeling. I see you very bright, very sharp too, sharp with it, you know, not not for no games. Definitely um, a professional. It's like you're teaching about transformation. You know, Divine Realm is definitely help you, helping you to heal other family members from loss and grief. This is beautiful. <laughs> bottom of the car, bottom of the deck is Big Mama. Yes. You've been given a gift. Big Mama gave you a gift to show love. 
that's who you learned it from. Wow. You learned how to love from your grandmother. Your grandmother was very sweet. She used to take care of people in the community. She even fed stray animals. People knew that they could come over her house day or night. And she would always feed them and give them a kind word. You know, to help them through things. That's where you get your compassion from. Even though you was plucked, my baby. <laughs> right. Didn't I tell you? Yeah. Princess of Baskets. Your grandmother definitely sh shows you how to weave. How love can heal anything. That's what you were taught. <laughs> yes. And someone's... Um, Aunt, someone's paternal aunt is the one showing them all of this. Showing them no matter what, that love heals all wounds and that love never dies. You don't have to grieve. People never leave you. They just transform. They go higher and higher. And, you know, someone's mother and grandmother, aunt, is showing them, yeah, even though you started from below the bottom, look where you are. My God, this is deep. This is like... Definitely spiritual. You know, this is your parents. You were plucked from them. You know, you didn't even have a chance. You were plucked young. Them, them greens look like they was picked early. But look at you now. Living your best life. You got a new house, land. You could do what you want. You like to meditate outside and pray. When people count you out, look where you are now. Isaiah 58, 11, 13, 11, <laughs> yes, your dad's mom and your, um, yeah, your dad's mom and your dad's brother. Are letting you know they got you. You got family from both sides. Real spell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? From both sides. You started below the concrete. In the concrete jungle. How about that? And you rose up to be at the top. Of your field. You know at the pinnacle of your success. My baby. Look at you now. And I see you thankful and grateful. Yeah, you definitely learned the power of love. Love definitely heals all wounds. Your mama wants you to know that. She loves you. She always loved you. And I see some of my family members discovered that they were supposed to be abortions. A lot of our family members, their dads wanted their moms to have abortions, but the moms never did. That explains a lot. You know, you take it from your mom at an early age, I guess keep, keep saying it. I see giving, you know, walking away from you is what killed someone. I don't, you know, know how um, many family members. It's at least uh, almost half of our family members. The mother was loving and compassionate, and um, their fathers were like very like cutthroat, harsh, and brash, and they wanted um, the moms to have abortions. 
you know, and for um, definitely for the father, this decision is what ultimately killed them. Not having a relationship with you, not being able to reveal who they were to you. And God is revealing that to you. And then your mom knew uh, that you were going to have a hard road ahead of you. You know, having to walk away from you. But I see your maternal grandparents have always walked with you. They've been healing you the whole time. And that's what you have to realize. That you're a loving um, human being. You're a loving being. And even though that you don't realize the healing that has been taking place, everyone realizes your transformation. Your vibes speak louder than words, my baby. Your vibes speak louder than words. All because you slowed down and listened to the guidance that was available to you. The divine realm of the cosmic family. You know what I'm saying? You were definitely told to walk in your power. I don't give a fuck what the divine realm has you. You were told that. It was definitely stress. And I hear child boom. I can't with you. <laughs> That's what the divine realm said. Yes, you're definitely in your Jupiter expansion. You're definitely tapped into your maternal side of your family. I'm talking about tapped all the way in. You really tapped into both sides, but, you know, you cling more to your mother's side, I see. Definitely. Definitely. You definitely in your Jupiter cycle, that's expansion, and whatever you do is going to be like the Midas touches. It's going to grow and grow and grow, and I see all of my family members are successful in whatever endeavor they are in. And for our new family members who are just starting getting off on the good foot, this is what you can expect. This is your divine birthright, is to be successful. To always be on top of the wheel. To always get your exes. To always be a perfect 10. Because don't exes mean 10. Perfect 10s. Exes also mean will of fortune. Or a chance to change your destiny. So every time you see tens, you know what's up. And you definitely have someone watching over your life. And for some of our family members, they were molested by a family member at 12. Some of our family members were molested by a family member at 12. Wow. Okay, let's get it, my baby. All day long, here you go again. Princess of Cups. <laughs> this is you when you started out. You know, see how this is not really like a lot of color, a lot of life. This is you now. Still the Princess of Cups. Right? You know what I'm saying? Beautiful, my baby. <laughs> Couldn't make it up. Bottom of the deck, Emperor again. The, oh, Lord, y'all. Y'all, it's too much for me. <laughs> this is the picture that you have of your granddad. You have a picture of your granddad sitting something like this. I promise you. I promise you. Sitting down on a chair or sofa or whatever. <laughs> but this is what they really look like. Still sitting down. Then you know they got you. They got you, boo. The emperor. Right. <laughs> Definitely a child of the most high. Your granddaddy and your dad is watching. I'm talking about you squatted up. I pity the fool, you know what I'm saying. Woo, 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 woo. Just want to pull a little couple of cards right here. Oh, we already 30 minutes in, but it's cool. We'll get it in. I just want to make sure you got your mm, 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 mm. nine of pentacles on your arm. Oh, look at you, stunningly stuntastic, my baby. Look at you. Look at you now. Falling. <laughs> you get it from your mama. <laughs> right, my baby. You 
get it from your mama. You gonna forever make it pop off, my baby. Trust and believe. You wonder what traits and uh, abilities and gifts you got from her side. Your ability to make it. Make shit shake out here. You know, I would almost... You know, say that you were you would be a gatekeeper. You decide who gets put on, and you decide who gets put off. You know, that's why you like carnivals. You used to always like the Ferris wheel, <laughs> right, my baby? Always just right. Yes, you get. Your ability to make shit pop off and make your garden grow like that world card, the first card from your mom's side. <clears throat> and you get that cold, it's easy to walk away, cut a motherfucker off, abandon, drop, discard energy <laughs> from your dad's side. Surgical with it. Right, I see you're not scared of death. Because you know what death is, my baby. <clears throat> wow, now that's deep in itself. Because look, this is the card that I pulled, High Priestess, right? <clears throat> but let me show you this, my baby. This is what you see. You see death. Right? Because this is how you normally see people. People, you know, be devastated. You know, ten of swords energy. But this is what you see. I told you my family see death, my baby. This is crazy. The star. Woo, 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 woo. I said you was in the seventh dimension, but it looks like you're in the eighth dimension. You're definitely getting guidance. You're definitely a star out here. Star seer. You get that from your mother's side. The ability to see. Because remember, that's why you hate it, because you can see. And your mother knew that you could see. Your mom knew that you had your ability. Ever since you was two years old. They knew you were going to be a star. And your grandfather knew you were going to be a star. This is beautiful. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> right. You'll always have a new... Man, look. Let me first show you this. This is what people see. They see you balling out here. You getting them. Your life has changed. Finally, it happened to me. Look at the crowd. Remember I told you? You know about the crowd. You know about the in crowd. <laughs> but this is what I see you doing. Shopping till you drop. You know what I'm saying? I see my family members out here getting them. That's how you feel alive. It's about shopping and showing love. <laughs> right, my baby? Yes. Look at you. Wow. You're going to be, you know you're protected. You're protected by the word. Shakina. Shakina. Right? Divine feminine all day long. And you know you're going to be a star. Because you walk with the most high. Man, I couldn't make it up hand in hand. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> you walk with the divine. <clears throat> Your granddad is assisting you, my baby. I couldn't make it up. And you knew ever since you were, you know, between two and nine that you were going to be successful. And your dad always told you or are telling you now, anybody that makes you feel less than a beautiful motherfucker, you are to cut it off. Anybody that's in the king of swords, ten of swords energy, cut that shit off. And your father is assisting you to cut it off. Right? You're definitely getting those messages. Definitely getting no messages from the divine realm. And you're definitely getting, some of our family members are getting messages to walk away from a union, from, you know, broken hearts and all of that. But the love train has self for some family members, for other people. 
And your higher self told you that. Right? Do a few more. Then I get get you out of here. I knew it was the reason. A Bible verse. I always pray for you, my family. Every day. Just like you do. <laughs> right? Pray for all beings and things out here. Oh, title card. Wow, you get messages that you're a badass being. And your vibes speak louder than your words, right? Legendary. That's what you're going to be. Legendary, my baby. Legend freaking dairy. Woo, 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 woo. Let me move these up to my... Sorry, my babies. Yeah, your highest self told you love don't live here anymore. That's what you were told. Oh, my God. The Empress. Wow, you getting messages. <laughs> wow. You're going from the Nine of Pentacles to the Empress? What? That's like six steps. <laughs> wow, my baby. That's like six steps. My God, your brother is helping you. I see you've been hard at work. You've been hard at work becoming a star. Because in the past, when you showed love and was concerned about someone's well-being... You know what I'm saying? They treated you like shit and it devastated you. Wow. Let me get two more cards for it. This is crazy. Just by using your intuition and working hard, you're not only the star, you're the motherfucking empress, nine of pentacles, ace of pentacles, queen of cups, you know what I'm saying? World card. Emperor twice. Queen of Cups twice. Man, you definitely is... Mm. Ooh, this is like legendary. <laughs> I told you, you're sensational. You're a legendary sensation. That should be... Wow. <laughs> Get a card over here. Emperor's High Priestess divine round. Wow, should I even still be pulling for y'all? <laughs> like... For real though. Oh my God. Listen. You got the chariot and the ace of pentacles. Look. I couldn't make it up, y'all. The chariot awaits. The divine rump's here for you. Like holla, 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 right? <laughs> I love it. You shitting on motherfuckers, my baby. Ace of pentacles twice, my baby. Ace of pentacles twice. I do it like this, my baby. Woo, 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 woo. Forever gonna be getting these portals. Forever gonna be making it pop. Forever gonna be healthy, wealthy, wise, my baby. You're gonna be fat. Oh, wait. <laughs> Do your happy dance. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, my baby. Yes. Divine gonna. Oh, man, this is how the cards are. Forever. Divine gonna always make sure you pop off. Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Man, y'all look at this. Yes, it's really on. You're on your way to your success. Yes. Right. Always make sure you pop off. Always. Some of our family members <laughs> got a limo waiting for them. Let me see this bottle card. Three of Pentacles, because you know. Remember I told you the song, Just the Two of Us. <laughs> this is it. Three of Pentacles. You know the teamwork makes the dream work. You definitely walking with the divine. All because you wasn't no buster. You showed strength. You got out here and got them done. No matter what, you know the divine realm walks with you, my baby. You know who you are, for sure. You know you're a star. You get messages 
Eight of Wands again. You know, y'all forever. You know, y'all double, double it up. So <laughs> I think it was Virgo. Remember, we we used to run track, right? So you'd be like, ready, set, go. I think it was Virgo that had set, but this is you with go. I see you about to take off. Look at this. <laughs> you about to take off. Definitely getting the messages, my baby. Ooh, ooh. Love it. <laughs> yes, look at you. You get messages you about to take off, my baby. Wow. Wow, my baby. Oh, Queen of Pentacles. Man, I can't with you. Your granddad always told you to stop crying, stop feeling sad. You're going to have everything that you want in this lifetime. Everything. All you wanted was to have a happy home for your kids. Now you're, you're making a way for that for your grandkids. This is beautiful. Because you want to know what the divine is telling you at your service. This your chariot again. Divine realm is opening doors for you, my baby. Yes, and you know that. And stop. Y'all was... Eight of Wands again. Here go these messages. Man, I couldn't make it up. You definitely... Are being divinely connected, directed, and protected. This is beautiful. And you definitely, definitely is going to live to a ripe old age. You know what I'm saying? No, you know, no matter how old you are, that you can always play with your inner child that's what this whole journey was about was to feel as free and as beautiful and lovely as you really are when you were a child this is beautiful you may be old but you're young at heart and you definitely know the difference between being childish and childlike. And I see you're childlike, my baby. Oh, oh, you were a fortunate child. Now you're a fortunate adult, my baby. All because you stood. You're faithful to the most high. And you didn't buy the bullshit and the pity parties and all that. And you're definitely gifted. I'm, I'm getting philosopher, scholar. Let me just give you two of these fortune cards. I'm going to let you go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You'll always get messages about rats. Because <laughs> fortunate child. And this is how we're going to leave it for you. Luck of the Irish. You know what I'm saying? I remember, I was, some, I was another family member. And it's the same for you. You see the rainbow and the pot of gold because you're the lucky child. <laughs> Yes, and remember how, man, this is crazy, the synchronicities, I'm, it's blowing me away. The reason why you live fat, and people think you got too much and you're doing all that, and people try to fatten you up for the kill, is because it was already ordained that you would have phenomenal, phenomenal, legendary, sensational luck, <laughs> abundance, High honors and all of your dreams attained. All of them. You're a rose. And you're married to the divine realm. Man, stop it. I love you, my family. I just want to make sure I didn't get anything for you. You know about the phrase hot boys and fly girls. <laughs> That's what I was told. And I hear it's all yours. It's all yours, my baby. And this is, it is your cosmic and galactic family's pleasure, pleasure to ensure that you remain naturally happy. You know, 
So I guess the title for you would be Legendary Vibes. Because that's what you are. Just the two of us. The in crowd. You're a part of the in crowd, my pet milks. You are the in crowd. That's why you've always drawn all types too. I love you, my baby, with my highest love. This is like one of the most phenomenal readings that you had ever. This is beautiful, my baby. You transformed. I love you, my baby. You're going to have so much bestowed upon you. Just keep on being thankful and grateful. Keep on keeping on. I love you, my baby. Woo, woo, woo. All of this has been revealed to you. Just like I'm re-revealing it. This is the moon. For sure, my baby. Woo, woo, woo. Your dad is out here with you. Your dad is out here with you. Yes, my baby. I love you with my highest love. This is beautiful. I'll see you in about two to four days. Continue to enjoy your evening. And continue to have these rendezvous, these trice that you can trust with the divine, and all's well. Love and light, baby. Love and light. No more broken hearts for you. No more broken hearts. Bye, family. Bye, my lovelies. Bye, my pet milks. <laughs>